<laughs> so guys, uh, should we go into a little bit of growing with my buds? Yeah. <laughs> Dan spoke about making dab or something out of espresso machines last week. Yes. We, remember we saw that article. Let me bring this thing up. We got an article regarding guys that have now tested and been playing around with making extracts with... That's not, not dabs. Extracts with an espresso machine. So like it's a funny. dabuccino. Like a dabuccino, you can call it. There you go. <laughs> 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 nice. uh, um, you got any photos on that? Or the like a pod. Oh, yeah, like a pod. Mm, so... The whole thing is, we read, we read through it, it's the fast extraction of cannabinoids in marijuana samples by using hard cap espresso machines. It was a study that was done in Spain, mm. as far as I can read through yeah, the it's papers. A, it's a Spanish okay. idea. Yes, it's in Valencia, Spain. And the what they did is, was a quick, a simple quick and low cost procedure was developed for the extraction of delta 9 hydro, tetrahydrocannabinol, cannabidiol and cannabinol from marijuana samples. So basically they took the hard cap thing, the cap, and they stuffed it with weed, and they used uh, two propanol. That's the, the pods, like the pod the pods, machine. The, like the coffee's pod. in, yeah. Okay, so they a take it's, it's a cof, It's a coffee so, pod, the hard cap espresso ones, yeah. the steel ones, but they use the refillable one. So, oh, so it was it was environmentally friendly, Ned? Yeah, very yeah, good, very good. At, least, <laughs> at least they weren't just wasting them. Good. And basically they just used that machine with propanol in it, to extract the THC off of the plant. Yeah, they got they got a spread of like three cannabinoids in mm. one minute. Yo. And so it um, did the extraction, essentially. It did the extraction, and there's pictures in the report of it. Um, it's pretty dry and boring, but if you've had mm, loads of practice, boring. you can scan through it and yeah. get the gist, run down to the conclusion, and it's a totally legit way of um, extracting a perfectly good medicine in one small minute. doses. Medicine, yeah. And th th yeah. It, was a, it was a Valencia University mm. that got the weed from um, arrested criminal. Stashes. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. basically from the that? police donated. The yeah, police donated. Yeah. 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 They had to take yeah. the material and find and stalks and what, and they ground it all up, but they had to get it from somewhere. It's less of a cappuccino and more of a mid espresso. Exactly. This is not for recreational use at all. You're not going to get a high enough volume of THCs or anything to get you high. So don't try and have coffees all day, like just fucking pushing this machine. You're going to need just so many of them and then get it. But it's it's more for medicine for someone, I guess. But it's very, you know which very get extracted? low levels. Yeah, that's it. And, but it's with propanol as well. So we have to remember that. that uh, we are, ISO, it's steam, yeah. Hey? So it's, you, it's, it's, a, it's an ISO, it's, a, it's an RSO run. Yeah. It's oh, like so it's still, it can still go boom. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, it can float around the room and something could boom it. Yeah. yeah. But it's quite but it's inert such a low volume. Also, it. yeah. It's very, yeah, low yeah, Very, very, like, very low volume. If you had it uh, like a, a chip fat cowling, if you had one of those in your house, just do it underneath there that. You go. They did it in the fume hood, just so they there didn't notice. In the fume hood, with like a mask on. Literally, they were like, oh shit. In '95, fucking hands. So, so check the oak yeah. was in an espresso machine, though. Yeah, yeah. An espresso. Um, yeah. So now I said to my fuck, imagine I could get down a pick. Uh, what if they've got one in like cash converters? We could do it right, you know, live. And <laughs> fucking no, head went off. No, I saw the headline this morning. Went, oh god, we've got to get one of those and try it out. But how do we actually try it out? I mean, we can you see it's do it. But uh, what's underneath? You, know? yeah. you, would, so, you see, the thing is, the volume that comes out of it's like espresso volume. Fifty yeah. mil. Like now think there. about the volume comparison Espresso of shot. cannabinoids in that two. Pod. two Pod. That's too big. That's like a it's a tincture. Out. It's literally it's a, a tincture, tincture that you're going to yeah. use if but you're going to use. But you still need to purge all that shit out. Well, pro yeah. propanol is I so it's a liquid. It's yeah. alcohol. It'll come off at room temperature and at that at that small amount. Yeah. So there's going to be a bitch getting out of the glass. So <laughs> now you go and get yeah. a pod. I want to try the. You go get a pod yeah. of your favorite ground up plant off mm. one of those racks. Your preferred herb. Your preferred yeah. herb. Nescafe preferred herb. I can see the the, the, the <laughs> shot now of you just need herb, Nespresso pod. Fucking wait. Uh, <laughs> but Jesus, you could put... A, no, you couldn't. No, you couldn't put espresso in it because you put an alcohol. What if you put dab in an espresso pod? 
But he's just going to no, cut it down to shit with all the yeah, vocals. Yeah, no, no, it's not appropriate. It's not a smoker's no, game. It's not going to help I was it. trying to think, could he put BHO through? No, no. It's fucking hard cap pod it's fucking <laughs> in the ball over the roof yeah, the next reason, thing we're going to put it through our soda fire. streams man. the so reason now, why they're using propanol is because they were going through gas chromatography mass spectrometry ah, yeah. they had to test it somehow so that's why right. they were using propanol as okay. a better carrier yeah. for the salt for yeah. the cannabinoids yeah. to man. test it makes loads of it's sense. not for that's a lab thing it's man. a lab thing yeah, it's, it's not, not for food. home don't yeah, even right, try right, it right. <laughs> they just checked it out yeah, yeah. I mean look you know what hold on a minute go to get some get, get rubbing alcohol but if from you this take, but, yeah. but 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 if you take <laughs> for instance we used to make uh, weed tea so if you had to take a refillable cap get some really dank buds stick them inside the cap put it inside an espresso machine with water it's going to blast hot water over it what it'll do is it'll hopefully pull off and, the oil, yeah. and the oil and the THC and then be activated in that water an actual dead espresso make oh, yeah. an actual yeah. dead espresso yeah, yeah, yeah. a real dead awake spray. and bake deluxe eh? yeah. Yeah. it's got a dab pod. machine I mean a dab machine a coffee machine <laughs> pod machine <laughs> a dab Try machine it. with do extra it. coffee do it uh, please <laughs> <laughs> all I can see now is they're going to have to reshoot because George Clooney's most the spokesperson for Nespresso an <laughs> and yeah. they've got all those Kev black and white ads of him looking shuaf and they're going to have to edit just that these eyes are now ski look red <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, one of the surprises I got when I had a look around to see this nest, the, the, the thing, apart from the uh, what you just described, the report, I couldn't believe how long people had been doing it in the States. I mean, it's like 2017, some of these things. What? Where fucking where have I been? Netspresso, 2017 reports of people using pods to mm. do runs at home. Honestly, oh. guys, I think about, I think we spoke about this on an episode Maybe, in 2017. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it, does, it does kind of ring a bell sure. a bit. Probably. But uh, we didn't cover it as much as this. It's evolved quite a lot. Mm. I mean, now they're using propanol. And, you know, Valencia is like the, yeah. the centre of the Spanish mm. genetics. Model. Zolbot's right, yeah. You must use milk rather. Yeah. Put milk yeah. inside and use that. That'll, that'll <laughs> pull, that'll definitely pull the, oh, yeah. the, the THC with it. It oh, goes with it more, way way more than water. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> use it, put the full cream milk inside that machine and <laughs> dedicate it to no, this Nigel cause. also <laughs> says making a <laughs> simple alcohol green. or olive oil tincture is just much easier. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so it's a gimmicky yeah. thing. It's research. Yeah. It's just different fun ways, you know? I'm we sure it shows it has you, a future. It shows you can have a machine that you can push a button, it'll do stuff, and stuff will come out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right. And I think that's ultimately what people are looking for. Put your feet on, track. push a button, and your oil comes out. Cook yeah. it, burn it off. I, uh, take the ISO off, mm. put it in a whole bunch of edibles mm. or you know, whatever you do. Yeah, or yeah. put it's it your home machine. It's got cuisine for what what six course what what stoner yeah. or whatever. But you don't need all this stuff. Some you can just use a pot and some it. coconut oil yeah. and some yeah. weed, guys. Really. <laughs> so, yeah, but then you easiest. Stink. I'm sure yeah. this has got less stink. This is more like sort of townhouse complex friendly. Mm. But just, it's like rosin. You literally got to do a yeah. thousand pods to get yeah. something that's worth <laughs> yeah. even yeah, yeah. doing something with it. <laughs> fucking pods <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> fucking, then you're causing the fucking waste. Yeah, no, no that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a big <laughs> thing with those. Or you just keep <laughs> refilling two yeah. pods. Keep <laughs> refilling two pods. I <laughs> <laughs> no. wonder what the machine looks like to seal that shit on there. There must mm. be some sort of mm. like a button maker. Or some new cap or something. A new cap uh, stored yeah. like a... George Clooney screen. licks everyone and sticks it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get a bottle of his spit to like roll it on and... <laughs> he puts a live yeah, on the Nespresso. <laughs> you're not going to be selling spits <laughs> post C yeah. word. I'm just waiting for them to reverse engineer the whole process down to where it's like in Back to the Future 2. Where there's that scene where the mom rocks up in the future with the, li the little pizza. And she puts it in the thing and she presses the button and then boom, it turns into a big one. I want to have a little nug yeah, yeah. that I put in the thing. Yeah. And then it just goes boom and then it's big. Funny <laughs> <laughs> I shrunk the nugs. Yeah. Yeah, that's